What's going on guys, this is your host AZ here and yesterday I posted a video about the leaks regarding the Polaris 10 graphics card which was named to be RX 480 which was a leak actually and some speculations about the performance that I uh, made in the uh, yesterday's video. And today we got another leak following the Polaris 10 graphics card and its name which is the RX 480 and a slide which shows that the Polaris 10 is going to be actually competing against head to head with the 970 and the 980 performance and the performance of the 970 and the 980 in a price tag of $250. AMD is going to be covering the mainstream market with these graphics cards and the slide shows head to head performance and the sub 150 watt power draw compared to the 970 and the 980. It's also confirmed that the graphics card is going to be powered with a single 6 pin connector and it's going to be having DirectX 12 uh, async compute with it, DisplayPort 1.4, full HEVC support, HDR ready. And the graphics card is going to be having 8GB of GDDR5 with 256-bit memory bus, premium AAA and VR gaming. That's what it shows. One of the more things that the slide shows is about the teraflops performance, which is going to be around about 5.5 teraflops of performance. And through that, this teraflops performance, we can actually calculate the number of cores or the number of async compute units that are in this GPU, which is going to be 32, and the stream processors are going to be 2048, which was exactly for the 380X which had the 32 units compute units and stream processors of 2048. Now the clock speed we don't actually just um, know about that but the speculation would be like 1400 megahertz for me. Uh, at this speed this card would be actually giving 5.5 teraflops of performance. 5.5 teraflops of performance in $250. This is an amazing graphics card for the money and uh, I hope that AMD succeeds in what it's going to be doing with the market at this time because as you know that 970 and the 980 are the GPUs that are uh, mostly present in the market according to the Steam survey is uh, 970 is more than 50% of the market has 970 in their systems so uh, I think that AMD is going to be tackling head to head with Nvidia in the 970 and the 980 market and trying to snatch it back from Nvidia and I hope this comes to be true because if, doesn't, if it doesn't come to be true then um, Nvidia is going to be just uh, going about uh, getting the prices it wants for the GPUs because Nvidia at right, at, right about at this time doesn't have a solution for uh, 5.5 teraflops of performance and $250 GPU in the new Polaris architecture. So yeah guys, this is what I think that AMD is going to be providing a 150 watts of power, 5.5 teraflops of performance and GCN 4.0 is going to be an amazing GPU with the Teratex 12 full compatibility and I think that uh, AMD is going to be succeeding in many of its, uh, AMD is going to be succeeding in taking back uh, much of the market share with these graphics card. And if it doesn't then uh, I don't know what will what AMD should do to actually get the market share back. So yeah guys that's all, that are my thoughts on this and some leaks that I told you. Share in the comments section what you think about this and um, feel free to contact me anywhere Twitter and wherever you want to. I'll be sure to answer your questions and discuss with you what, about these new graphics cards and I'm gonna be going out. Peace.